Yes, our children were indeed something to fear. They had turned into little monsters. But who was to blame? All the experts had an answer. Angry, heavy metal subculture. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Has canceled the last five dates of his U.S. tour out of respect for those lost in Littleton. But the singer says artists like himself are not the ones to blame. Music was the escape. That's the only thing that uh, had no judgments. You know, you put on a record and it's not going to yell at you for dressing the way you do. It's going to make you feel better about it. Mm -hmm. Some will be so brash to ask if we believe that all who hear Manson tomorrow night will go out and commit violent acts. The answer is no. But does everybody who, who watches a Lexus ad go and buy a Lexus? No, but a few do. I definitely can see why they would pick me because I think it's easy to throw my face on a TV because I'm in the end sort of a poster boy for fear because I represent what everyone's afraid of because I do and say what I want. If Marilyn Manson can walk into our town and promote hate, violence, suicide, death, drug use and Columbine-like behavior, I can say not without a fight you can't. The two byproducts of, of that whole tragedy were uh, violence and entertainment and gun control. And how perfect that that was the two um, things that we were gonna talk about with the upcoming election. And also then we forgot about Monica Lewinsky and we forgot about the president was shooting bombs overseas, yet I'm a bad guy because I've, I've sang some rock and roll songs. And who's a bigger influence, the president or Marilyn Manson? Do you know I'd like to think me, but I'm gonna go with the president. Do you know that the day that Columbine happened, the United States dropped more bombs on Kosovo than any other time during that war? I do know that, and I think that that's really ironic, you know, that, that nobody said, well, maybe the president had an influence on this violent behavior. No, because that's, that's not the way the media wants to take it and spin it. If you were to talk directly to the, to the kids at Columbine or the people in that community, what, what, would, what would you say to them if they were here right now? I wouldn't say a single word to them. I would listen to what they have to say, and that's what no one did.